guys, this is Deshanta B. And I'm here today to share with you a super easy crock pot baked ziti recipe. You know what time it is. Let's get to the ingredients and stop playing. Come on, let's go. Disclaimer guys, I am not paid or sponsored by any of the companies whose products you may see in this video. Listen guys, ain't no one gave me a dime, nickel, a quarter for these ingredients. I bought them on my own accord. I am only telling you where I may have purchased these products so that you don't have to run around like a chicken with your head cut off looking for these products. That's it and that's all. Moving on. Guys, for this recipe, I will be using some Italian-style ground turkey. I normally use the Italian-style turkey links, but for some reason, I haven't been able to find them. So this is a substitute for the Italian-style turkey links. You can use pork, you can use beef, or you can use none at all. These Italian-style ground turkey they are a one pound package. Because I'm not gonna be making that much, I'm just gonna be using two pounds. These cost about $1.79 in Walmart. So, if you are interested or if you can't find the other Italian links, these are a great substitute. For this recipe, you will need some eggs. I am using the rigatoni pasta this is a one pound box I'm not certain if I'll be using the entire box or not you can also use the baked ziti basically any pasta of your choice tomato basil and garlic pasta sauce if you don't want to use pasta sauce you can use tomato sauce canned tomatoes and tomato paste as long as you can make enough sauce to cover your ground turkey. Or if you're not using any ground turkey, as long as you can have some sauce to go over your pasta. You need some olive oil or olive oil, butter, a packet of seasoning blend. It is onion, celery, red, green pepper, and parsley. You will need some ricotta cheese. I have a brick of fresh mozzarella. This is a 16 ounce package. I am just going to be breaking this cheese down. So you can use a brick of mozzarella cheese or you can buy a package of shredded mozzarella cheese. I have an eight ounce bag of Italian style cheese. I have a six ounce bag of sharp cheddar cheese and a six ounce bag of Romano organic cheese, onion powder, and an all-purpose seasoning, minced garlic, black pepper, parsley flakes. I will be using a couple of teaspoons of sugar, some Italian seasoning. Guys, this seasoning is optional. It is a blend of all the Italian herbs. So if you can't find this, the Italian seasoning that you do have will work fine. You will also need your crock pot, a small bowl, a large bowl, and if you have any butter or vegetable oil or canola oil spray, and a piece of foil. Okay, moving on. Guys, I'm going to prep my crock pot first. It is not being preheated. Anytime I use any recipe in the crock pot that uh, deals with cheese, I like to butter the bottom and the sides of the crock pot. A little bit of crock pot uh, info, guys. The heating coil, the main heating coil of the crock pot is in the bottom. So the bottom tends to cook faster than the sides. So if you have cheese or anything at the bottom or if you run out of liquid, it will tend to stick to the bottom first. 
Also, if you don't have butter, you can use a canola butter or vegetable oil spray to coat your crock pot. Let's go. Now that this is completely coated, I'm just gonna place my crock pot to the side. Moving on. Okay guys, now I'm going to prep the cheeses that we will need later in the recipe. So guys, just to let you know, if you hear some rumbling, we are having thunderstorms down here. It is hurricane season in Florida, so it's typical to have a uh, thunderstorm every afternoon. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the ricotta cheese to a bowl. I have, I don't know if you can see it, I have broken up the mozzarella brick of cheese so that I can add it to the recipe. So I'm going to add some mozzarella cheese to the ricotta. And I'm going to add all of the other cheeses that I have. Guys, I thought I had some Parmesan cheese, but I don't. So I'm just using what I have. If you have Parmesan or Romano cheese, please feel free to use it. I'm adding the Italian style cheese. I'm not using the entire packet because we're gonna need it for later. And the sharp cheddar. I'm now going to add an egg. I think I need two eggs. Hold on guys. Real cooking in a real kitchen guys. Now I'm going to add some Italian seasoning. Some parsley flakes. This is optional. If you have it, fine. If you don't, don't worry about it. Some black pepper. A little bit of onion powder. You can't see it, but trust me, it's onion powder. And this is optional guys. If you don't have kicking chicken, you can use some crushed red bell pepper flakes if you want a little bit of heat. Guys, you know this is optional and this is my all time favorite. Some sweet paprika. If you don't have the paprika, you don't have to worry about it. I just love, love me some sweet paprika, okay? Now I'm just going to mix all of the ingredients until well blended. Just keep mixing until everything is well incorporated, guys. Okay, guys. Moving on. 
this is what your cheese filling looks like once it's all well incorporated. So all we're going to do now is just put a top on this and place this to the side until needed. Okay, moving on. Now we're going to prepare the ground turkey and pasta uh, sauce. I have my large skillet. I've turned the stove on medium between four and six. I'm going to add enough olive oil to coat the bottom of the skillet and then we're going to move on to adding the ground turkey. This is the ground turkey guys, and this is what the Italian style ground turkey looks like. Moving on. Okay guys, I am not plugging the store. I'm just letting you know because I will get questions. I purchased this at the Dollar Tree. This is what I'm gonna be using to break down the ground turkey. Let's go. You wanna break the turkey down into smaller pieces. So I'm going to continue breaking this down and allowing the turkey to cook so that we can move on to the next ingredient. Okay, I'll be back. It's been about three minutes, guys, and as you can see, there is no more pink in the ground turkey meat. And also you see that there's a lot of liquid. That is good because turkey tends to be very dry and very bland. So we're going, we will not be draining the liquid. We're gonna take advantage of all of the liquid, any type of moisture that will keep the turkey from drying out. So now I'm just going to add the onions and peppers and veggie mix. Please feel free to use fresh onions or peppers. I just like to use anything that's going to cut down my time in the kitchen. So we're just going to mix this until well blended. Now I'm going to add two heaping teaspoons of minced garlic. If you want to use fresh garlic and chop it up yourselves, guys, please feel free. This is your masterpiece. Make it the way that is conducive for you. I'm just showing you the foundation. One and two. So just mix this well into the turkey mixture. Wow, it smells really, really good. Wait till you try this recipe, guys. You'll understand. So now I'm just going to add the seasonings. I'm adding the Italian seasoning. I'm adding my all-purpose seasoning. Please feel free to use whatever all-purpose seasoning that you have. This is optional. I'm using my kicking chicken. If you have crushed red bell pepper flakes, that is a great substitute. Onion powder. If you don't have minced garlic, you can use onion powder in place. Some black pepper. And now I'm just gonna mix everything together.
Now I'm going to add my pasta sauce. If you don't want to use pasta sauce, you can use tomato sauce, tomato paste, um, even stewed tomatoes or diced tomatoes in place of the pasta sauce. This is also optional guys. I'm gonna put in a little bit of sugar because pasta sauce tends to have a little bite to it. And just give this a stir. If your sauce is ever too thin for you guys, just add half a can of tomato paste and it will thicken up your sauce. All right, so I'm just gonna let this cook for a little bit longer, just so that all of the ingredients can marry together. I'm trying to decide if I need another jar of the sauce. Now is the time to taste to see if you need any uh, flavor adjustments. Guys, remember, whatever utensil you use to taste your food, please use another utensil. Do not put that utensil back into the food unless you're the only one that's going to eat it, okay? Mm, 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 mm. I'm going to put in another half jar of the pasta sauce. A little bit more of the sugar, a little bit more of the all-purpose seasoning, and this should do it. Give it a stir. I'm just going to let this simmer for about 10 minutes, and then we're going to move on to the next step. Guys, it's, it has actually been over two hours since I put this sauce on due to the thunder and the lightning and it was making my dog bark. I felt it was better to just shut everything down. So you don't have to cook your sauce for two hours, but I just wanted you to know why the sauce looks the way that it does. Okay. This is the sauce, guys. Like I said, you don't normally have to cook it for two hours, but if you have the time, you can. So this is what the sauce looks like. Okay, now let's move on to the next step. Using your large bowl, you are now going to add your rigatoni or whatever pasta shells that you're going to use for your baked ziti. Now you're going to add your cheese mixture that you prepped earlier in the recipe. Now you're going to mix, combine the cheese mixture with the uncooked pasta noodles. You want to make sure to get, it. make sure each noodle or pasta is covered with the cheese. Now we're going to add the hot pasta sauce. You're not going to add all of your pasta sauce. You're just going to add enough so that you can start the cooking on the uncooked pasta noodles and help to start melting the cheese. So just mix all of this until it's well combined. Ooh, this smells good, guys, already. 
Okay, guys, I think that that this is ready. So now let's move on to the crock pot. Now guys, I have cut on my crock pot due to the fact that I'm getting a late start. I put it on a high setting and I'm going to cook it for an hour and a half. I had intended on cooking it on a low setting for two to two and a half hours. So you don't have to use the high setting unless you want to. It's just that my timing is um, has gotten pushed back. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is put a layer of the sauce into the crock pot. Now I'm going to add a layer of the cheese and pasta mix, ziti mix. Now I'm going to put another layer of sauce. I ended up using both jars of the pasta sauce guys. Now I'm going to top with the cheeses. And now I'm just going to repeat the layers. Add some more sauce. And top it with the rest of the cheese. I'm just going to add some of that pizza Italian blend seasoning. If you don't have this, guys, just use your regular Italian seasoning. So now I'm just going to cover this with a piece of foil, put the crock pot top on, and all of our prep work will be done. Guys, I sprayed my foil with some uh, canola oil. So you're just going to Put the foil on and for those that's going to ask me again i put foil on my crock pot so that all of the heat will stay inside of the crock pot okay just put the crock pot top on secure it and you're done and that's it guys all you have to do now is just walk away. Okay guys, so that I don't confuse you, I changed my mind and decided to allow the ziti to cook on low for two and a half hours. So what you're going to see now is the baked ziti after cooking for two and a half hours on the low setting. Okay, let's go. I removed the aluminum foil for the last 15 minutes of the cooking process. Okay hey guys, let's get into digging into this baked ziti. This ziti is extremely hot guys. I don't know if I'll be able to even do a taste test, but I am just going to cut into it so that you can see what the layers would look like. 
this is not a lasagna so it's not supposed to sit up in tall layers okay let's go Guys, you can see all of the cheese and the ground turkey, the tomatoes and all of the seasoning, guys. So what I'm going to do now, guys, I'm just going to plate this up. And everyone knows that pasta tastes better the next day. So what I would suggest, you can meal prep this. You can prep it the day before, even a week before. Look at that, guys. How could you not? How could you not? Okay, I'll be back. Okay guys, this is my second time filming this. I made the mistake of taking some of the crock pot baked ziti out of the crock pot while it was still steaming hot and it fell apart. I'll show you that blooper at the end. But I was able to get a better piece so that you can see all of the ingredients inside of this crock pot baked ziti. The reason I'm calling it bake is because it did bake in the crock pot. You can see the noodles, the pasta, the cheese, the ground turkey, all of the seasoning. And guys, this is such an easy re recipe. The preparation will take no time. So let's go in. I'm gonna put some Parmesan cheese on the top. Just a little. You see that? Look at that, guys. Okay, I'm going in. Let's go right here with all this cheese. Give me that cheese, give me that cheese. Look at it. See how you can cut right through the pasta? Oops, come on cheese, come on. Don't play with mama, come on, come on. Look at that guys. Okay, let's go. Mmm, mmm. Yup, that's it. The mozzarella cheese just melts in your mouth. The pasta melts in your mouth. Look at the turkey guys, guys you have got to give this recipe a try. Mmm. You can taste all of the Italian seasonings. And once this sits overnight, all of the flavors are just going to be so robust. Mmm. 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 So with that being said, guys, you know what time it is. Give this recipe a try. And stop playing. And until the next recipe, Bye, guys. Mm, 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 mm. Oops. Well, guys, it fell apart, but that's okay. We can fix it up. real cooking guys and it's too hot but it's okay look at all that cheese look look at all of that cheese guys truthfully I should have waited but that's okay because once this sets up overnight you'll be able to cut it okay guys as you can see the ziti was so hot and so cheesy that it fell apart. But you know what, guys? This is real cooking in a real kitchen. And guess what? You can still see all of the cheese and the noodles, the ziti, pasta, 
trust me guys whether it falls apart apart or not it still is some good home cooking so guys with that being said you know what I'm about to say you know what time it is give this recipe a try and stop playing and until next time bye guys <laughs>